Give us some insight on who Anthony Noto is and how he went from, you know, Goldman Sachs banker now to Twitter CFO. So Anthony Noto is one of those people who, if you asked him 10 years ago what you plan on doing, and he said, I plan on being CFO of the NFL. I plan on being uh, an IPO banker at Goldman Sachs. And, oh, yeah, I plan on being a CFO of Twitter. People would have looked at him and laughed. But he is one of those people who's able to do these things. Intercepted by Anthony Noto. Anthony Noto has been such a competitor. He's been such an important cog in this defensive unit. Had his knee operated on several times. We'll have surgery again after the season. He's a former fullback. Reads this one, picks it off. Bumbles. Recovered by Army. Here's a pretty good lick by Noto. Big number 44. Let's present this week's Toyota Leadership Award. Anthony Noto from Army. Sports was a vehicle to get out to other places, and I had an opportunity to play college football and college baseball. I ultimately chose West Point for one big reason. It was about leadership and building a leader, and that was what fundamentally changed my life. Because I did become a leader at West Point. I did become more than just a football player. You have to surround yourself by people that inspire you and people that give you guidance and people that give you hope and people that tell you when you're screwed up and when you're making bad decisions. And that's what Jimmy Young was about. I was at Goldman Sachs. I was a first-year analyst there. Every business I looked at as a research analyst, I said, what is that critical success factor because of West Point? And it put me in a position that manifested itself in so many ways. morning, Twitter locked up the digital streaming rights for NFL's 10 Thursday night games. Getting news out of Twitter today, Anthony Noto, uh, COO, was leaving. Uh, and now SoFi announced uh, that he's been named CEO and a director effective March 1. You know, when I was given the opportunity to consider uh, joining the company, uh, one of the things that, were, that was important to me was if I was going to be a CEO of a company to be part of a mission-driven company. It's not just about a profession. Um, and I saw an opportunity to help SoFi become a mission-driven company. At SoFi, our mission is to help our members achieve financial independence to realize their ambitions. SoFi is putting its name on the most expensive NFL stadium ever built. in my heart that our success is 100% dependent on our execution. We have the resources, we have the brand, uh, we have the people, and we have the capabilities. First and foremost, it's about the people. There's a saying, the ships don't sail, the tanks don't roll, and the planes don't fly without the people. So it's all about the people. And so if you recruit the best people, and you build the best culture, then the best people will work in, in an environment that they love. My background, it's a great intersection of football and athletics with leadership, with culture um, and strategy. I gave you all the positives. I play offense, not defense. I didn't tell you about the 15 things I, I fucked up, and there were plenty of them. 